And Cindy, this event, this festive event just wrapped up a few moments ago. As you mentioned, Hudson Yards is the largest private real estate development in the history uh, of the U.S., including retail, housing, and commercial space. And today, the mayor and developer unveiled the design for the public space and gardens. Take a look at some video from just a short time ago. The event here on 34th Street on the west side was standing room only here outside, if you will. Uh, we do have some renderings of what is planned for this space. Hudson Yards will include five acres of gardens and public plazas on its eastern yard. At the center is what's called Vessel. This is designed by British artist Thomas Heatherwick. It's comprised of 154 interconnecting flights of steps, including 80 landings. The space will also include 28,000 plants and more than 200 mature trees and other plants. The public space will connect to the High Line in the new Hudson Park and Boulevard. Hudson Yards is the largest development in New York City since Rockefeller Center. The developer hopes this becomes as big a tourist attraction. And I wanted to create a 365-day Christmas tree. There had to be attract people of all kinds to come here and create this great place so that we could attract the tenants, the residents, you know, and the retailers to come here and, and make something special. We wanted to create something that people could relate to, would be participatory, something would be very exciting and would draw them to wanting to come here time after time. And taking a live look here at uh, the people that are just here waiting after the event that just wrapped up. The mayor also spoke, calling this a very good day, talking about the project showing New York City is constantly evolving. And this will also, he says, re-energize this part of the city. Now, the vessel is expected to be complete in about two years. The entire Hudson Yards project expected to be complete in 2025. Reporting live on the west side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.